Hey, what is up guys? My name is Disturbing Ginger. and welcome to a brand new video. Today in this video we have a game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is actually another episode of my Madden NFL gameplay if you guys didn't catch that. But we are 6-0 going into this game and Blake Bortles, yes, Blake Bortles just had like a 12-yard run against my defense. So we definitely got to step up and then I just let Toby Gayhart get a, a really 9-yard gain there which really sucked. But uh, we got to the backfield so we can... we could have really stopped that and then you know they're just kind of driving here guys so we really got to make it stop so I decided to use her Jack Lambert here and see what I can do here and they you know they hand the ball off so I guess they got scared of me or something I don't know guys um, I'm gonna blitz you with Richard Sherman off the, off the backside and I, 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 I got I I bit I, I, I went for the play action but thankfully I had another guy coming on the backside and uh, came, he came out with the sack so they they punted the ball there and uh, we got this yeah on my first play on offense I throw a pick six and again an achievement for it score, yeah that was just that, that was sad so 20 seconds left in the first quarter and I'm down by seven on my own doing like you know we played some pretty good defense and my first play from offense we decided to throw a pick six so we really gotta get this back guys um they get the ball at half time I believe no actually we do I think we do actually um yes yes we do I yeah they we get the ball at half time I believe so if we can score, at least tie the game up, and then get the ball, we'll be in pretty good shape. And Chris Carter makes a great catch here, and uh, jukes that guy. Spin move. Come on, one more spin move. Come on. Spin move, and we get into the end zone. So just like that, it's a tie game, guys. Things are actually looking on the upside at this point. You know, end of the first quarter, we just tied the game up. Chris Carter's dancing. Things are looking pretty good. So uh, we're going to kick the ball off here in a second, um, and with the tie game, actually. So things are looking pretty good, like I had said before. Maybe we can score again before halftime. That would be really nice, actually. I'm going to come over here with Chris Harris Jr. Take out uh, Blake Bortles just as he throws the ball. Um, we really could have had a sack there, but we were just a second late. Um, so I'm going to use your Khalil Mack here and see what I can do. Um, and they're not going to pass it. Are they going to pass it? No. Blake Bortles decides to run yet again. Um, but it, it does bring up third down. So um, we can possibly make a stop here, hopefully, and get the ball back. So I'm using Jack Lambert in the middle of the field here. Hoping that uh, we can make a stop and they get the first down. Sadly, they do. But, you know, we got a minute and 11 seconds to play some good defense and hopefully get a stop and get the ball back. Um, I'm going to blitz up the outside with Khalil Mack and see what I can do here. And we just missed a sack. And, but at the same time, guys, we could have had an interception there, but we do bat the ball down. So, not too much time was wasted off the clock. And we, uh, we played some pretty good defense there. So, I'm going to use Jack Lambert yet again. And I barely stopped them from getting the first down, thankfully. So on third and short, they have them coming up with 59 seconds left. They did call a timeout because they decided that, you know, we can score here. But really, they can't because they're going to play some good defense. And they toss the ball out. Looks like they're going to get a first down. But then my guy comes in and just destroys Toby Gayhart. I call a timeout here just so I can uh, get the ball back with a good amount of time and, and score another touchdown, hopefully. Um, that's obviously the goal, the plan of this whole thing. And... Uh, so they're putting the ball down the table on Austin. And like fair catch, let's let it go into the end zone. But then it bounces sideways. Like how bad can that how bad can it possibly get? And it bounces sideways. Um, so I'm gonna I, I start the ball running off with uh, Marshall Lynch because I really didn't think they were gonna you know expect a running play on my first down from scrimmage with like 40 seconds left. Go to a screenplay to Chris Carter. He gets outside and then out of bounds here, steps out of bounds, thankfully. Um, so with 29 seconds left, we have the ball on the 32 yard, or 42 yard line rather. And things are actually looking on the up and up. Um, in, uh, incomplete pass there to, Mar uh, to Alshon Jeffrey. Um, so again, second down here, 25 seconds left. Um, we can possibly score it. We go deep to Greg Olson. Can he catch the ball? Yes, he can. Greg Olson is a tank, man. If you guys do not have Greg Olson, get him. He might be a little pricey. He is the team of the year, Greg Olson. But oh my gosh, guys, he is a tank. So seven seconds left. I'm in, I'm in kind of a predicament here, guys. Um, you know, I got a score, but I, I there's not much time left. I have one more timeout. So if I don't score here, I have to use the timeout. And I don't score. So I can either call a field goal or I can call it another play. Keep in mind, if I don't score a touchdown, I'm most likely not going to score at all because of the, the lack of time. So I had to score here on this play. And can I? That's the question. And Marshawn Lynch barely gets in the end zone. Um, so things are looking pretty good, guys. We got a, a lead going into halftime. And uh, we're going to kick the ball off. And hopefully, this is us, obviously, hopes and prayers that we do not let them score a touchdown. So we just uh, uh, return the ball all the way. So we just, we just script kicked just so we can get downfield a little quicker. They get to the 32-yard line, but, you know, it's no, no problem for me because 
we just wanted them to uh, not score. So, seeing as they get the ball back at the beginning of the third quarter, I'm just going to be like, you know what? I, I want to run the ball and let some time run up the clock, you know? Um, but I want to I want to make them feel like they just got, they, they just got you know, destroyed. So, I want to score again, but I want to take as much time as possible off the clock. So, calling this play-action play was actually a good call because Marshall Lynch would have got, he got hammered there. Uh, on the play action, he had a really good sell by uh, Michael Vick and Marshall Lynch. But we did, it for, we did get a first down there, and we're calling this curls play here, hoping to get a first down, and let some time run down the clock, you know, letting the play clock run down, and we get a first down here to Chris Carter. Can't quite get around the defense, but you know, it's first down nonetheless. So with 25 seconds left, 20 seconds really, um, we're actually looking really good. No, They can't really stop us, and I'm really liking the way this is going out. And this play actually, they don't call a timeout. So it eventually leads to the end of the third quarter. So going to the fourth quarter, we have a 14 to 7 lead, and we have a dri we're driving really well. Um, so here, guys, I'm gonna do my best to score a touchdown uh, with as much time off the clock as possible. I go deep to Greg Olson, and he makes the catch. Like what a what a tank! Like again, guys, if you guys don't have Greg Olson on your team, get him. 96 overall team of the year. What a beast, guys! I I recommend him 100%. Um, so with one one minute and 22 seconds, we just have to make a couple stops on defense, and you know they we <laughs> Blake Bortles couldn't do anything there, uh, playing some really good coverage downfield. Then I was using the middle with Jack Lambert, so I can't really do much. Um, so again, hopefully they don't score here, and actually hopefully they didn't make the catch there, but they did, which kind of sucks in double coverage. That was a good catch by Lewis or whatever whatever he was. I'm pretty sure it was Lewis. So I'm gonna blitz from the outside with Vontae Davis, and I can't quite get to Blake Bortles. And they get about you know about a five yard, six yard gain there. Uh, not too much damage, but they are slowly but surely driving the ball. So oh no, I'm, I'm thinking right now, we just got to make a stop. If we make a stop, it's our game to win. And I mean, it really it is our game to win right now. And they barely get the ball over. But, you know, Cecil Short's caught it like right at the line of scrimmage. So really no damage there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, blitz from the outside with Vontae Davis here. And I barely, barely miss him. Uh, <laughs> so they get the first down. They're on the 37-yard line, guys. So they are definitely driving, which is not a good thing. So, um, I'm calling a little more conservative play here. Um, I'm going to go back with Vontae Davis, and, you know, we sack him. Blake Royals tried to get past by the defense, but he couldn't. So, now I'm going to use the middle with Jack Lambert in, hope, in hopes that I can, uh, you know, bat the ball down or something. And he passes it, and I intercept the ball. So, guys, this is the end of the game, guys. Just need, just need to take a quick nail. And a couple timeouts later, guys, the time runs off the clock. So... Uh, this was a really good game for my offense and my defense for that matter. It started off really shaky. My defense actually didn't let any, any, any uh, points in. It was just my offense doing a pick six at the very beginning. But we went 21 to 7, so things are looking pretty good in that game. Here, guys, I'm going to do about uh, six uh, of these little uh, NFL, combine, uh, uh, NFL Combine events in hopes of getting some, uh, some cards that I need for my NFL Combine players. Uh, I think this is the Dontari Poe. Yeah, Dontari Poe, that, that's like new Combine Warrior. Um, we got first one successful. This event is actually very easy. We just kind of have to go uh, to the outside to the trucking area, avoid the slow zones clearly, and just get to the speed zone and just like speed through that defender. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, before this video ends, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support, guys. It's been crazy. We're at about 2,600 subscribers at this point, and uh, I, I cannot like thank you guys enough. What you guys have done in my life right now, like, I, okay, so I play volleyball right now. I play basketball and volleyball. I'm a two, two, two main sports, really. And I, I, during basketball season, I couldn't post as much. But, um, I'm making, like, time out of my day, time out of my homework, really, to, um, to interact with you all and make videos for you all. And it, it, it's actually completely worth it. Um, I love it so much. I, I'll come home from volleyball. Volleyball is so fun with my friends and all. I come over here and I get to interact with some of the best people in the world, supporting me on YouTube, something that I love to do, and I really can't ask for anything much more than that. Um, you're really making my life so much more fun, um, it is crazy because I don't have anything special. I have a MacBook Pro and a blue snowball. Like, you guys are probably thinking, no, you probably have like, a really sick setup, guy, man. It's really cool. Uh, I bet you have a really cool setup and all, um, but no, guys, I have a MacBook Pro laptop, a desk and a blue snowball that I got off Amazon for really cheap, actually. So, um, I'm actually thinking about building a computer in the uh, summertime, so I'm, I have some parts on a list on an Amazon cart that I'm going to buy once I get uh, some paid paid um, in the summertime and all, because I am a lifeguard, and I get paid a lot for that, because I, I work all the time in the summertime, but 
I'm gonna have a lot a lot of more time to make videos at the same time so things are looking pretty good guys um, before this video ends thank you guys so much for watching um, and leave a like button <laughs> hit that like button if you like the video in any way shape or form hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel like the content and if you guys want live uh, updates about what I'm doing and what the dealio, dealio is or if you have any questions hit me up on Twitter and Instagram below uh, I'm gonna do a Q&A soon so be looking out for that and I'm over now guys I'll talk to you all later see ya